Hello and welcome to Zim Tutorials for Adobe Animate. I'm Dr. Abstract and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how we can grab code from CodePen and bring it into Adobe Animate. Let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com and we'll have a look around. So and this is the Zim site and under examples we have CodePen right here, CodePen. And there's a bunch of code pen examples. Ooh, ah, wow, you, blah, blah, blah. And you can grab the code from any of these and bring them into animate. And we want to show you how. For instance, let's take the bat light. The bat light. Ooh. So the idea behind this one is you can control the, the blob uh, down here and it controls a bigger one up top. On the right hand side, or right hand side for me anyway, I have the code. You may have it, uh, if you just come in here for the first time, I think it defaults to being along the top like that, which is fine too, but I usually put it at the right hand side. You might want to do that as well. So this is older code uh, from Dan Zen on CodePen. I'm two people on CodePen, Dan Zen and then also ZimJess. Uh, this happens to be older code here where we've got the frame ready event and in the older code under the settings there was some JavaScript you don't probably need to know about this but under the settings there's JavaScript there we are bringing in create Jess and version 10 of Zim as well as some icon file. So if you brought in all of the code, um, you, you might not have the supporting icon file, etc. And you don't need to bring in all the code. That's what this video is about, is how much of this code do we need to bring into Animate? Well, uh, Animate and Zim Shim, the Zim Shim for Adobe Animate, already comes with a frame call and the frame ready. So it's basically anything inside here, and we don't even need the stage and the stage width and stage height. That will be given for us as well. So basically what's under the code here, we just have to be careful because this was a ready event going to that squiggly bracket, which goes all the way down here to the bottom, blah, 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 blah. right there. That's the end of the ready. Here's the stuff that came from that JavaScript file to make the icon down below and the greetings. So we don't want that either. And you probably don't need the information on the docs. So basically just grab all of the stuff inside the ready event. You don't need that though. Okay. So that's what you would pick out from this example. We're not going to use this one. Let's go take a, a look at another one. How about we come on up and this very first one is the Zim template right there. That's the ES6 Zim template. So in this one, we're using our new code, which is import from Zim right there. That includes CreateJS as well. And there's the frame call. Do we need that? Do we need the ready function? So this time we're not doing a ready event, but we passed in a ready callback there. So we don't need that either. And we're given the frame, the stage, stage width, and stage height. So we might wanna take that right there and there's put your code here. So we take that. We grab all the way down to, um, we can take the frame dot made width that's inside a Zim. So this now no longer, if we look up here, this no longer calls out to any JS at all. There's nothing in here. Um, all of it is imported right there. So we don't need the import. We don't need the frame. We don't need the end. So basically it would just be the stuff in the middle. And if you want the made width, that, that would actually work. Okay. That's not the one we're going to take though either. So if we go to hit the Zim right here, the little Zim guy, that will take us to the Zim main page, which is kind of like a static page. So these are features that we've put here on this page specifically. It's not the latest stuff. So to see the latest stuff of Zim, go under public right here. It's a little bit tricky to find, but hit public like so. And this is all the latest stuff that we've been doing. And you would then page through these as well with next. And you'd see a bunch more, including all a, a whole bunch of tutorials, creative coding tutorials as well, which you might want to look at. All right. So this is the, um, the Zim one. There's also, like I said, Dan Zen who posts things as well. And you can find all of that back on the Zim examples. However, the one we're going to take in to animate is this latest one that we just made today. So I'm pressing on that one and it's in the latest format. So there's our input, here's our frame call. Uh, 
Uh, by the way, what this does is it has a cloud that you can drag around. And when the cloud hits the lightning bolt, it leaves a little rain. Isn't that neat? You can grab the lightning bolt and drag it around as well. Uh, these are user editable paths, so if I hit edit, I can move that, and look at that, isn't that amazing? So you can change any of those paths, and um, it, it all changes, like so. Uh, by the way, to change the path, you, there's other things you can do too. You can grab the handles, like that. Whee! Uh, you can double click on them, and then that will go to different types. So now it's not, um, it's not a mirrored, it's just a straight, big, long, straight line like that. If I double click again, it goes to a different type yet again. It's, it's sort of a point or it, it uh, that both of them are free form like that. So that now creates a divot there. <laughs> cool, huh? And there we are going, <laughs> dragging through the divot. Okay, so um, that's that. And if you double click that again, then it goes to a, it disappears completely. And so now it's kind of like a bot, uh, it can make straight lines basically. Double click it again, we're back to purple equal. So that's how the blob works. Really nothing to do exactly with our tutorial for today, but just showing you through the blob. Isn't that neat? And then you can drag this stuff around. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so let's see if we can get this into animate. What we're going to do is we don't grab the import, we don't grab the ready, we'll just take from here where it says given the frame, we may as well take that little message that will remind us. We scroll on down and we probably don't need those. There's the end of the ready. So we'll come up and we'll take the made width as well. So we copy that. In other words, everything inside the ready event is what we've copied. And then we go to animate, and you're probably going, oh, yay, it's animate, woohoo. All right, so under animate, we'll choose more presets. One thing you might want to take a look at is the size of this. 1024 by 768 is what this was built for. We can build things so that it fits any size, but anyway, this happens to be kind of laid out to, to fit that size. It's also got a black background and a black stage. So we come to here, I'm choosing very high under the presets because it's 1024 by 768. Well, what do you know? So I'm now hitting create. And here we are. So we'll grab a code window, window or actions, F9, and we will paste. So that puts it all in there. I select it all and go shift tab and just to bring it back to the, the edge there. So here's our Zim code inside of Adobe Animate. Now, it won't work yet until we bring in the Zim shim. Uh, we can save this up though, save as, here's the Animate folder, and I'm going to save it as codepen.fla, like that. Now let's just remind you where to get the Zim shim from. So back on the Zim site here, this is the front page of the Zim site, uh, under code right here. Scroll down a little bit. That's where the Zim template is. Uh, if you're not using Animate, you would just start in an editor with that stuff. And then just down below, careful, it's not that one. That's interactive animation about how to use sprites and make them do things. Here it is, Zim Shim for Adobe Animate. So we press on that, and that takes us to the Zim Shim page where the zip file is listed right up at the top there. Uh, we have a tutorial about how to put that into place right here and here's the bunch of other tutorials. Okay, so you want to grab that zip file right there and then what you do with it, click on the stage and choose more settings right here, then HTML and JS. So this is where you can specify the starting template by default. It's a default template, but now we want to import new and you point to the Zim Shim template that is there in the zip file. I, I think you have to unzip the file though, so make sure to unzip it first. You should always unzip before you work in a <laughs> work in the zip file or never work in the zip file. Uh, so you unzip it and there's the Zim Shim. So we select that, great. And then we want to center it on the page, make it responsive and scale to fit visible area. And hit okay. There we go. And when we go control enter, we might see an error and that error would become because of this uh, loop right here. We got a loop in here somewhere, if I remember correctly. Do you guys see a loop? Yep, 
<laughs> I don't see it anywhere. Oh, there it is right there. Yeah, a loop. We often use loops, and so we'll have to watch out for that, but that's a known issue. We can solve that, no problem. But let me just show you where that error shows up. I go control enter. Here it is. The path is there, but something has stopped it from happening. So anytime something breaks, uh, you've probably realized that you can go F12, and F12 will show a your errors there. I remember if you're on a uh, on a laptop, your F12 might you need, might need a function F12 or something. So there it is saying loop is not a function. Mm, okay, so what's going on is Adobe Animate has a loop global a global property or a global variable, and we didn't want to overwrite that. It's I think the only thing that conflicts is that we have a Zim loop and they have their global loop property that we didn't really know about. Uh, but that's okay, it's easily fixed. What you can do is say loop is equal to a zim.loop. And what that does is it uses the zims loop as loop, and therefore this will work again. Or alternatively, you could have said zim.loop there instead. Uh, but this might be the safest way, as long as you don't need the animate loop. And that's a, that's the thing, we didn't want to automatically overwrite the animate loop. I'm not even sure if we could, but whatever, we didn't want to because you might be using that. All right, so we saved that, and now when we go control enter, uh, save control enter, it's it's all working. Uh, yay! Okay, so there's um, the stuff. Now let's see if the particle emits, which way is that going? Right, there we go. Oh, I missed it. It's the registration point that is operating on it. The registration point is almost at the top of the lightning bolt. Okay, so there it all is. The background colors not black. We uh, so let's see how we can fix that up. Uh, you can go f dot uh, background or f dot outer color outer color like that. Outer color is equal to black, and we'll save that up or control enter. And now the outer color is black. All right, isn't that wonderful? Yay! Uh, that's how we can get a code pen stuff, uh, code pen code, into Adobe Animate. And you can see that that all works uh, pretty well. Okay, so that, oh, by the way, if you didn't have a rectangle here. We've got a backing rectangle that is a gradient. So let's see what it would look like if we didn't have this. So we go control enter. It would look, yeah, you know, whatever. It's, it's during the daytime. <laughs> so there it is during the daytime. Can we edit the stuff? Yeah, there's all the all of the, the things to edit. Um, oh, I keep forgetting. I think that's, I didn't set it to toggle. It just toggles by clicking off. By the way, you can toggle it by clicking on the thing, but because it's being animated as well, this is all being wiggled. Uh, it's a little hard sometimes to grab, but anyway, you can press on it like that. This one just turns it on. And what I came up to, click it. <laughs> and it temporarily, as the mouse get down goes anywhere, it hides that. And then when we mouse up for the click, it um, brings it back again. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that's the wrong frame color. So you can set the color by uh, doing f dot color is equal to black. If that's what you needed, and go control enter, and what it does is then makes it uh, all black basically. All right. Yay! So we didn't bother doing that because we got this rectangle here, so we may as well bring that back. And then we have our gradient background in place. Okay, I think that just about does it then. Uh, any questions? <laughs> Are there any questions? Well, oh yeah, well we could have also changed the color just by putting, <laughs> by using that as well. Um, I guess not. I don't hear any questions from you. So if you do, you're welcome to ask or come visit us at zimjs.com slash discord or zimjs.com slash slack. Slack is, has its own animate channel. So you might want to come visit us there, zimjs.com slash slack. We can make amazing things with Zim and it, it'd be really handy for you to have that and animate if you want. And, uh, you know, come out, check out Zim, see what Zim can do as well. Uh, cheers. Bye-bye.